hate the idea of leaving you. <sighs> Kendall needs your support right now. You gotta go. Go. I mean, who knows what's in that box that she got from Zach? And, and, and I'd love to be there, but okay, I can't. Okay, okay. So... I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hey. Thank you. For what? For being here. For just for being you. I mean, since I found out that Emma's missing, I don't I don't think I could have handled this without you. He says as she runs out the door. No, you've been amazing, okay? So go 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 be amazing for Kendall. Okay. Okay, but please try and eat something, okay, while I'm gone. Maybe better yet, take a nap. I'm not gonna sleep. I can't sleep because I might miss something, but still nothing going on at the Chandler's? No, nothing. Well, Annie is bound to get in touch with JR very soon. And when she does, I'm gonna be ready. Okay. Okay. Call me if you hear anything. I love you. I love you. JR Chandler. Annie? What did Annie say on the phone? Did, did she mention Emma at all? Did, is Emma okay? Did you hear a little girl in the background? Right, just relax. Don't, don't you tell me to relax when my little girl is missing because of you. I know what that's like. Right? And I was going to get in touch with you. Really? Where's the phone? I was on my way to the airport. I was going to call you. What about the cops? What about calling the FBI? You know, I know that you don't trust me. No, JR, I don't but trust you. But for some reason, all. Annie does. She knows I would never have her committed against her own will. She knows that I would never do anything to hurt her. So if there's anyone, anyone at all that can make her see reason. You really think she would listen to you? Yeah, she says she loved me before we hung up the phone. So please, I'm asking you, give me a chance to do this my way. I'll get her to stop running. I'll get Emma back for you and hopefully get Annie the help that she needs. Fine. But there's no way in hell you're going alone. I'm coming with you to make sure Emma's okay. Fine, that works for me. Oh, and answer me one question. How did you know she called? I bugged your house. What? You broke in? No, no, I let him in. Something about a threat? Theft? I... A casino partners they stole? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. No. Hi! Oh, get over here, you guys. Hi, hi. Hi, Angels! Okay, listen, listen, listen. Um, Antoine's here. I want you guys to go and play with Reverend Torres, okay? Go say hi to him! Yeah! Hey. Hi. Ryan told me about Zach's things. I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Are you okay? Did you open it? Are you... I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. But Greenlee, I think something huge. Boys, that's not a toy. Do you want me to take them to the park for a little while? Give you time to do whatever it is you need to do. Um, Greenlee, I, Wait, I just can't stay that long because I have to get back to Ryan and searching for Emma. And, but I want to do everything that I can. Oh my God, oh my God. Of course, Emma. I, uh, any, any news? No. No, and he's going out of his mind. So. Which is exactly why you need to be there for him. But I want to be here for you. It's okay. I'll be fine. I have Reverend Torres. What? Boys, boys, no, 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 no. These aren't toys. Okay, you guys right. have to calm down. Get a mess over here. 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 What do you got? Let's go. Let's come on. Let's come here. How could you do that? How could you go behind my back? Maybe if you gave us a reason to trust you, but you didn't. No, you know, and now my little girl is missing, and she's God knows where with a woman who has completely and totally lost her mind. I know that you don't trust me, but I'm hoping that that will change. I'll do whatever it takes to I, change. You know what? You, you always do, JR. I'm, I'm sorry, do. guys. I'm sorry for my part in this entire mess. All of it. If I could go back. You can't, we can't go back, right? We gotta go forward. So let's stop wasting time. We go forward. Let's find my little girl, okay? You know where they are? Canada. They left the country? Yes. We were gonna meet at a honeymoon suite outside of Montreal. Now, now Annie still has a couple more hours worth of driving, so if we leave now... We, we, can, we can beat them there. Yeah, the jet's fueled. It's ready to go. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm so sorry, guys. I tried to tell them. No, to it, it's all right. Um, listening is not their best event. Hey, Ian, Spikey, can Spikey, you guys listen to me for one listen. second? Um, those things that you were throwing around, they belong to Daddy Zach. Which makes them very special. Okay, so we need to treat them very carefully and no more playing with those things, okay? Do you understand? Sorry, Mom. No. 
It's okay, honey. But you don't have to be sorry. Now you know for next time, right? Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Kendall, what time is it? It's nap time. That's right, you guys. It's nap time. Do you guys mind if I tuck you in? Huh? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Come here, here you. Go. All right, here you guys you. go. Sleep well. <laughs> All right, here. L let me help you with this. Thank you. Those boys, they have a lot of energy, yes, huh? Yes, they do. Well, at least nothing is damaged. What are you looking for? Jack's letter. It was, it was right here on, on the table. It's, it's gone. Okay. All right. Just relax. The boys were throwing everything around. We'll find it. It's got to be around here someplace. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I, I really need to. I need need to find that letter. I mean, there was important stuff in it. Zach obviously had something important to tell me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Find it. Here it is under the couch. Told yes. you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah. Is that Zach's letter? Uh, yeah, I haven't read the whole thing yet. Well, take your time. There's no rush. It's Ryan. Annie and Emma are in Canada. He's getting on a plane. Go. But the letter. No, no, I, I can handle the letter. Are you sure? Yes, Greenlee, go. Now, Ryan needs you. Will you stay here with her? As long as she needs me. Okay, I right. go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Send Ryan my love. Just tell him to bring that little girl home. Dr. Castillo, hi. It's, uh, it's Queen Avery. Hey, what's up? I was wondering if you would mind checking in on Kendall today at some point? I just discharged her from the hospital. Everything okay? I don't know. Some stuff was found at Zach's crash site, and she's going through it for the first time. And it hit her pretty hard. I thought it would. Yeah, and she was just finding ways to manage her life and manage her stress, and, and, and this is a lot on her first day home. I'm on my break. I'll swing by during lunch. Thank you. I and mean, maybe I'm overreacting. There's no such thing in cases like this. So can I ask you for another favor then? Now you're pushing it. Will you call me once you see her? Let me know how she's doing. You got it. Thanks. Why can't I bring myself to read this? Maybe you should wait till you're ready. I'm not sure if I'll ever be ready. Well, whatever that says, whatever you find out, I'm here for you. Thank you. I have no idea how much that means. I hate that we had to leave JR down in the water. He seemed pretty legit about wanting to help. Yeah, it's called guilt. He knows the only reason this is all happening is because he didn't let us know that Annie was starting to spin out of control. You think we'd be better off without him? <sighs> no, I don't, because Annie trusts him, and as long as she trusts him, we got to use that to our advantage. Listen, this is all going to work out. I know it. It's weird, isn't it? You, me. Honeymoon sweet. Not exactly what we had in mind. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Don't be. Once Emma is back home and safe, we have all the time in the world for honeymoons. Like plural? More than one? I think we deserve it, don't you? Yeah, we do. We do. Any word? She left a message at the front desk. When? When? Just before we got here. She and Emma are about 20 minutes away. So she'll be here soon. Hey, listen, right? We're gonna get your daughter back. Yeah, you're damn straight we are. You're welcome. If 
she should be here by now. Where's that? Uh, oh. It's over there somewhere. Oh, here you go. I'm no number. What do you think, telemarketer? Well, you'll never know if you don't answer. Hello? Madison? Emma? I didn't know who else to call. Well, I'm so glad you did. Emma, Speedy, where are you? Mommy said we couldn't stay at the fancy hotel. Emma, does your mom know that you're using the phone? No. Have you tried calling your dad? Mommy told me I couldn't, but she never said anything about you. Emma, where is your mom right now? Hanging the gas man. What, what's the name of the gas station? I have to go. She's coming back. No, em Emma, please tell me where you are. I don't know. Are there signs? Anything? Emma? Damn it! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? She, she doesn't know where she is, or no? And I can't call back. There's no phone number. Okay, all right. Um, uh, what do you do? Are you calling Ryan? Well, yeah, I mean, I know he's crazed right now. I just hope he picks up. I know he's not going to expect to hear from me about Emma. All right, do you want me to call him? I can call him. No, no, no. I'm the one that talked to her. He should hear from me. Okay. Madison. Oh, Ryan, thank God. What's wrong? I just heard from Emma. You, you what? Emma called you? Yes. Is she okay? From what I could tell, she sounded fine. Oh, thank God. Okay, what, what did she say? What, where is she? I don't know. Um, all I could get from her was that she and Annie were planning on staying in some fancy hotel tonight, but now they're going somewhere else. She didn't know where they were. Annie saw us. 